If you want to know about the latest news and changes to economic stimulus packages, you can watch Stimulus Updates. Ali here, and I'm your host. Today, we have some great news to share with you. That way, you'll never miss a news story about stimulus. During these tough times, we're here to keep you updated and give you power. Okay, let's begin. Now, let's take a closer look at the latest plan that is shocking Congress and could change the lives of 8 million people who get supplemental security income. This isn't your normal change to the law. No, no. It's a huge change that will completely change the SSI game. Now, what's all the fuss about? How will it affect your money? Stay tuned because we'll let you know everything. Okay, everyone buckle up. The newest idea from Congress will change everything. No more fines for people who get SSI. Yes, the chains are being taken off, but that's not all. Get ready, because the bill also wants to raise the highest benefit. The SSI scene is about to change in a way that can't be explained with small changes. Let's look at the specifics now. Think about this. The goal of the suggested bill is to get rid of penalties and, wait for it, raise the maximum benefit, which means more money for you. We're talking about a major overhaul for the 8 million people currently navigating the SSI landscape. The most important thing is to raise the wealth limits. The proposed bill wants to raise the cap for individuals from $2,000 to an amazing $10,000. Keep your hats on for this one for married people. The cap is going to go from $3,000 to a crazy $2,000. It's not just a change. It's a shift. Think about the freedom. More chances, more money saved, and more safety. It's a big step in the right way. I'm so happy to tell you that Congress is finally doing something about the SSI payments that have been staying the same. But wait, folks. We need to think about more than just the saves. This bill is a great step forward, but there's more to think about than that. The benefits that are already being given might not be enough to hit the proposed asset limits in a reasonable amount of time. On the income side of things, we need to do something. The SSI Saving Penalty Elimination Act is an important bill that would let people who get SSI save without having to pay a fine. Not only does this act help, but it also adds a bonus by raising the maximum benefit to the full government poverty level. That changes everything, my friends. Let's look at the suggested changes in more depth now. At the moment, people who get SSI can only have assets worth up to $2,000, and married couples can only have assets worth up to $3,000. Research has shown that these limits might not make sense in the present day. After all, why limit the amount of money that people and couples can save? Type in the suggested changes. The bill wants to raise the cap on a single person's assets from $2,000 to a huge $10,000. For married couples, the suggested increase is even bigger, from $3,000 to a very impressive $2,000. This isn't just a small change. It's a huge policy move that could give people who get SSI more power to build a better financial future. This is where things get interesting. The bill that was presented is a good start, but we can't forget about the income side of things. At the moment, the most a single person can get in benefits is $914 and the most a married couple can get is $1,371. Even though these numbers are helpful, they might not add up to the planned asset limits in a short amount of time. Think about this. It will take a long time for someone to save enough to reach the planned limits if their income is still close to their maximum benefit amount. In spite of how exciting the bill is, it doesn't fully solve the problem of many SSI recipients not having enough money. There's more though. The marriage penalty is another long-standing problem that is also covered by the bill. People on SSI 
find it hard to get married because they are afraid of losing important benefits because of this policy. The bill aims to get rid of this obstacle so that couples can enjoy the financial advantages of marriage without giving up their SSI benefits. Now let's talk about what happened in the real world. The current SSI benefits of $914 a week, or $1,371 a month, are not enough for many people to meet basic costs like food, shelter, and medical care. Some people have to use their funds just to cover their daily costs leaving them with little to no extra money. This is where the suggested bill is very important. If it passes, it could help a lot of people on SSI by letting them save money without getting in trouble. Imagine a world where individuals and couples can build a financial safety net that makes sure they have enough money to meet their basic needs without having to keep spending their savings. We need to keep pushing for more comprehensive solutions, even though this bill is a step in the right way. As things stand, SSI users are penalized if they make more than the allowed amount of money. Their benefits are cut by about 50% for every dollar over the limit. If the income goes over a certain level, the benefits can be taken away completely. People on SSI find it hard to save money and get ahead because of the way things are set up. Even though the changes being considered are interesting, they may not be the best way to fix the main problem of many SSI recipients not having enough money. It is very important that we keep a close eye on how these suggested changes go through. The ESI Savings Penalty Elimination Act has good intentions, but it may not be the answer to all problems. It is, however, a step in the right path. Let's stay alert, speak up for SSI claimants, and make sure that any changes really fix the problems at their roots. In conclusion, the suggested bill could make big changes for the better for people who get SSI funding. But we should not lose sight of the bigger problems, and we should keep pushing for solutions that help with both savings and income. I will keep a close eye on any changes that happen with this bill or others that might affect the lives of people on SSI or with low incomes. There will be more news soon. Remember that we all need more money in our bank accounts at the end of the day. Until then, remember to stay educated, keep your power, and be careful. Hmm. This is the end of the movie for today. I'll see you in the next movie. Check out the channel and subscribe if you like the movie. More videos will be added soon.